States have a form of state testing, including Arkansas. So joining us via Zoom this morning is Melissa Curiel, an eighth grade English and literature teacher with Arkansas Connections Academy. Good morning. Good morning. Well, these state tests cause a lot of anxiety for many parents and definitely the students as well. Do you have any tips or tricks that you could share with us this morning? So I'd really say for the ACT Aspire in Arkansas, it is really just to show what you know. So there is no stress. We want students to get a good night's sleep, eat well, and be ready for that test in the morning. Whenever you're stressed on the test, take a big breath and just get ready to go because really it's just to show what you've learned throughout the school year to show student academic growth. We really recommend that whenever you're ready for the testing, if you're stuck on a question, just move on, bookmark it and go back to it later and just do the questions that you know. And whenever you're finished and we have time at the end, we can always go back and look at it again. Another good tip is whenever you're about to start your test, we usually give us scratch paper, just do a big old brain dump, put down all the information you know about math or reading or science, whatever subject you're about to take. And that way you can go back and look at notes that you've taken. Okay, some great information there. So I grew up in Tennessee, so we took the TCAPs in Tennessee. What are our Arkansas students taking? So our Arkansas students in grades three through 10 will take the ACT Aspire. Okay, so the ACT Aspire. So you gave us some great information on what to do once you get your um, scratch paper, you can go ahead and make notes. But what are some study tips? That was always the hardest part for me. It was trying to figure out what to focus on before these tests. So some great study tips, especially for the writing, is to learn how to make outlines, to kind of, you know, format what you're going to talk about and whenever you start your writing for the ACT Aspire. If you're going to be doing some quick facts, like for science or, or uh, reading, you want to make sure and do some flashcards, you know, kind of like you did multiplication flashcards whenever you were in school. Um, ACT Aspire also has a great resource on their website that's called The Sandbox, and it has a lot of different examples that you're going to see on the test. Students can study that at home and they can also do that at school. Wonderful. Now, if a student does manage to finish early while they are taking the test, you know, I know it's a rarity. Normally we run out of time, but if they finish early, what do you recommend that they do? I always recommend they go back and reread those questions and their answers and really make sure that they use that process of elimination to choose the best answer for that question. So even if you finish early, take the time to go back and read it again. Just make sure it's really what you want. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for getting up early with us this morning and giving us this great advice. I know that parents and students alike can really benefit from this. Thank you.